Today we are going to demonstrate how to prepare Ankimo, or monkfish liver. Ankimo is a great delicacy of Japanese cuisine. It has a rich, creamy flavor that at the same time is very light and delicate, feeling silky and velvety to the palate. Ankimo is prepared by first deveining, just like foie gras or duck liver. It is then steamed, chilled, and sliced, served as an appetizer with scallions, ponzu, and momiji oroshi, or grated daikon with chili peppers added, or served as gunkan nigiri, and sometimes even sauteed. Our first step for preparing the ankimo is going to be to wash it. We're going to lightly wash it under running water. We're going to change the water a few times until it comes out clear. After we wash the ankimo, we're going to move it and strain the water off. Now that we have uh, washed our ankimo, we're ready to devein and uh, remove any parasites we might find. And I've prepared a little bowl of water here just for ease of removing tissue and veins from the tweezers here. At this point, after we've washed and deveined, taken parasites from our on chemo, we've moved it to a tray and we're gonna salt both sides and then move it to a fridge for 20 minutes. After our on chemo has been in the fridge for 20 minutes with the salt on it, we're gonna rinse the salt off. I'm just going to move it to a bowl under running water and change the water a few times until all the salt has been rinsed off. Now I'm just going to leave it in a mesh strainer to let the excess water drain off. After we've rinsed all the salt off the ankimo, we're going to put it back into a bowl and add a sake. We're going to add 50 milliliters of sake for about 5 minutes. We're going to mix it up and make sure to coat it all with sake. Now this helps uh, reduce the, the smell that comes from the Ankimo. Ankimo has been marinating in sake for about five minutes. Um, we're gonna cut it into strips. We're aiming for 250 gram uh, strips that we're gonna cut this into. Then I'll move these back to the bowl with sake and prepare some plastic wrap to wrap these in uh, before we wrap them in foil. Well, after we cut the on chemo into strips, we're ready to wrap it in plastic wrap before we wrap it in foil. What we're gonna do is tightly wrap them in plastic into like a sausage almost and taper off the ends and then we'll move it to a tray. We're going to continue to do this with all of the Ankimo. 
And then once we have these all wrapped in plastic, we're gonna wrap them in foil before we steam them. After we wrap the on chemo with plastic wrap, we're gonna move it to a tray before we wrap it with foil. Now after we wrap the on chemo by plastic, we're then gonna wrap it by foil as well. And before we steam this, we're gonna to wanna to poke holes in it as well. We'll move it to our uh, steamer tray here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of these. Moved all of our on chemo, it's been wrapped in plastic and foil to our steamer tray. It's ready to be steamed for uh, 20 to 25 minutes depending on the size. After our on chemo has been steamed and chilled, we're ready to slice it and serve it as our on chemo appetizer. And we'll start by cutting this in half. And we'll take one of these sections and cut it in half long ways like this. Then with one of these sections, we're gonna cut our pieces about a quarter inch in thickness. And we're gonna take 10 slices. We're gonna plate these like so. And now we're gonna sauce with ponzu. So after we sauce with ponzu, we're gonna garnish with some sliced green onions and some omiji oroshi, or grated daikon with chili peppers. And here's our completed on chemo appetizer.